when I published a story in the New Yorker, got a grant at McDowell Colony. And after my grant was over, I went to Pierce and talked to Dean Coles, and I had this long beard, and he said, cut off the beard and you got a job. So <laughs> one day, my wife told me that she couldn't come pick me up at the end of school. So I said, ah, that's okay, I'll walk home. So I walked home with a whole bunch of books, 15 miles, but a lot of things happened to me on the walk and I just, ideas that I hadn't thought of for years came up and I began thinking of this as a way of education because it would do such good things to the students. I went to the dean and they were saying, what's it for? What they kept saying, what is it for, you know? So nothing, just to do it, just to do it and see what would happen to the kids. So um, they finally agreed. So that began to be kind of the, the thing, we're gonna to walk to Canada. We met on the soccer field the night before and uh, we put the tent up around six o'clock in the morning. We had breakfast and uh, around a campfire and, and we packed the tent in the van and we took off. Well, the thing that I've always felt about education is that it's about everything but the student and the student is left out. And uh, I think we have to somehow give them time out to examine themselves instead of history, economics, geography, mathematics, and so forth. The memories of New Hampshire walking inland um, aren't as fresh to me as w when I got to Maine. The group was still really trying to figure out what are we doing? What is this about? And, and Taylor kept saying, let's just walk and use the walking to answer questions about um, life and ourselves that we didn't know and to share those all together. After two or three weeks of walking, when people really got into shape better, their um, ankles had stretched, their shin splints had you know, kind of healed up, and then people began to feel this peacefulness uh, unfold. And, um, and, and I, for one, was, um, on a Saturday morning, I was sitting on a dirt road in Bodenham, Maine, um, and I had sat down on a log um, by this dirt road, and I was just picking up the dirt and some of the pebbles at my feet, and all of a sudden I realized that this is it. This is my life for now. And, you know, and I ran my fingers through the dirt and the stones, and I said, this is all I ever wanted, was to just know it and feel it that I'm alive, and to be able to um, share it with other people. And so <laughs> I kind of went around the group all day long and said, you wouldn't believe what happened to me today. I sat on a log and realized I was alive. And some of the people looked at me like I had three heads. And then some of the people just said, that's great, you know. And so um, from there, I, my whole um, feeling of um, where did we walk just brightened up. And I kind of remembered every day and every moment a lot more clearly. Well, you know, you think of education, what does it, what does it do, what should it do? <clears throat> and you think happiness has nothing to do with it. But these kids are happy and maybe happy for the first time in their lives and realizing it and able to even speak about it. And you think that's worth something. And uh, you don't get your BA for that, but worth more maybe, you know.